Hi there, this is Tom from eDirectory. Thank you for tuning in to our video tutorial series. In this video, we're going to cover how to use the slider feature. Let's get started. To begin, I'm going to pull up Demo Directory, uh, the demo version of our software at demodirectory.com uh, to make sure we understand what the slider is uh, for our eDirectory uh, software. Uh, on the front page here, we have this main section here. This is really prime real estate on the front end of your directory uh, where we have an option to include four images uh, in this slider. Uh, you can include uh, text to detail the slider here. Uh, you can include a title that is going to be linked to here, a little bit of subtext, and then of course uh, the high, high resolution image up there. Uh, you can click between these, uh, otherwise they rotate uh, on about a five or six second uh, cron job time period. Uh, so let's go back into uh, a more blank directory I have here. This is on a temporary domain. We just have a couple listings here. So this is going to show you the before and after uh, of what it's going to look like when we add our slider. Uh, so right now the slider is, is empty, has no images, so it does not appear. Uh, so we have our browse by category on top of our featured listings. Uh, we just have two listings in here for example purposes. Uh, that I'm going to use for examples and things that we can link to uh, a little bit later. Uh, so let's get back into the site manager of this temporary domain. You see we have our two listings here, uh, otherwise a mostly empty site. Uh, but that's why we're here, because we're learning to build and fill out uh, this directory and make it a lot better than it is now. <clears throat> to begin, we're going to start in the content manager section here. Uh, as we see, we have our couple listings there. And towards the bottom, we have our slider option. And we can choose up to four images with text and appropriate link, links. So let's open our first add new slider option here. Uh, so let's get going here. And let's name this uh, Excel Business Management, just like we had one of our listings earlier. Summary description. Let's see. Optimizing your business and your profits. It's a catchy slogan there. Uh, and then let's add in our image source. Uh, now it's highly recommended your image source follows uh, exactly these dimensions here, this 945 pixels by 409 pixels. Uh, otherwise the image is going to be a bit stretched. Uh, there's not a cropping tool uh, for this image set. Uh, so if you can edit this image or crop it outside of your eDirectory software and have that file ready to go, that, that is the recommended way to approach this. It also needs to be a JPEG, GIF, or PNG and make sure it is uh, no larger than one and a half megs as that is the maximum size allowable within our eDirectory software. I'm going to go in here, add slider one. That one confirms it's, it's been up there. Uh, add some alt text here, just Excel business. Man, I can't, can't get that A to stay lowercase there. Let's just copy and reuse that there. Uh, so now we have a link. So we can link this to anything we'd like. Uh, I'm going to link it to excel.com, a fictitious site for this fake company. Uh, and I'm going to check uh, open in a new window. Uh, I recommend for any link that's going to be outside of your directory to open it in a new window so your users don't actually leave and exit your directory, but they stay there. And if you are linking it to some place within your directory, then, then it's okay to uncheck that because they're going to be just diving in deeper to your directory and that's going to be okay. So let's save our changes and check out our image here. Slider successfully saved. We can get a little preview of our image there. If we edit it, we can see it a little bit bigger here if we want to make any changes. Looks good so far. Let's refresh our home page and check out what our first slider image looks like. All right, it really fills this opening a lot better. Uh, so we have the Excel business management slide here. We don't have any other options. So we just have one fourth of this filled and it's not going to rotate. Uh, I'm going to hover my mouse over here and if you see on the bottom left hand side over in this area here it'll show that www.xl.com link there and if I clicked it it would open uh, this fake web website in another uh, browser window but uh, it's not a real website so I'll, uh, I'll save you the error page there. Uh, let's go back and add another slide here. So our other listing we had in this directory was for 
sunrise photography. So let's add a little slogan here for the summary description. Uh, photography services for any occasion. Let's add another image here, slider two. Let's call this photography again. Just reuse that for the title. Uh, now, I want to link this to an existing listing that we have within our directory here. Let's go back here. Uh, let's pull up this Sunrise Photography listing. It's a blank listing just for example purposes. I'm going to head up here and I'm going to copy uh, this URL. It's a little bit outside the window of the video. Sorry about that, but I'll show you here. I will paste this link in here. As you can see, I'm on a temporary eDirectory cloud domain, so that's how it's listed now. I can update this later. Uh, but it's just slash listing uh, slash sunrisephotography.html. I'm going to leave this unchecked, as I said before, uh, so I can just keep users uh, within the same browser window. And I'm going to save the changes now. And we're going to check out what uh, two images look like. Uh, we have two sliders. Let's go back to the home page, pull these two up. As I said again, every five to six seconds, it's going to rotate here. So I'll pull up Sunrise Photography. Got our camera images there. Uh, we have this link now to Sunrise Photography. So people can click on that and head right into a listing area here. Uh, so this is a great opportunity to upsell a little bit of prime real estate on your directory site. Uh, as you can sell a link, a really prominent picture for a listing here. Uh, so that's just something that's optional for you. Uh, otherwise, uh, this is pretty much all the areas we need to touch on for how to properly set up uh, and use the slide, slider feature. Uh, it's really a great place to uh, complete the branding and really the particular image that you want for your directory site. Uh, so I hope this uh, video was helpful and I hope you're able to uh, really set up your slider and continue building and creating uh, the directory site uh, that you're looking for. As always, you can uh, reach us at edirectory.com contact support at support.edirectory.com. Send us an email, give us a call. Uh, we're always here to help. Thanks again for tuning in. Bye for now.